morning students warmly welcome to others educational institutions it's my pleasure welcome you all to the online class so in a last class we discuss the vernier caliper and rules and conventions for si units so today we discuss screw gauge and measuring mass today's topic screw gauge and measuring mass so what is mean by screw gauge screw gauge is a instrument that can be measured the dimensions up to 1 by 100, 100 of the millimeter or 0.01 millimeter with the screw gauge it is possible to measure the diameter of thin wire and thickness of thin metallic plates so the screw gauge so this is the screw gauge shown in the figure so the u shaped the screw gauge the u shaped frames are present in a in this area so the screw guards are present in a u shaped methods yes so this is one the u shaped u shaped frame solo u shaped frame so this one is a uh, anvil and this one is a spindle so if you measure the th radius of the uh, diameter of the thin wire or plates if you measure in between the places so this one is spindle lock and this one is a head scale this one is the head scale and this one is a spit scale and this is a ratchet for using to tight the screw guards so and this one is the screw guards and description of screw guards the screw guards consists of u shaped metal frame a hollow cylinder is attached to one end of the frame the grooves are cut on the inner surface of the cylinder through which a screw passes in the show in the figure on the cylinder parallel to axis of the screw there is a scale which is graduated in millimeter it is called as pitch scales and one end of the screw is attached to a sleeve the head of the sleeve is divided into 100 divisions and it is called as head scale so the head scale it consists of 100 divisions are 0 to 99 again if you zero if you calculate the 100 and the end of the screw has plain surface spindles the stud that means anvil is attached to the other end of the frame just opposite to the tip of the screw the screw head is provided with a ratchet arrangement safety device that means a safety device to prevent the user from exerting undue pressure the how to use the screw guards the screw guards works on the principle that when a screw rotates in a nut the distance moved by the tip of the screw is directly proportional to the number of rotations is so directly proportional to the number of rotation the screw is rotated so if you rotate the so how many times if it rotate the number of divisions also increases so if it is less the number of rotations also less so if it is rise the number of rotations are already rises so that means the directly proportional the pitch of the screw the pitch of the screw is the distance moved by the tip of the screw for one complete rotations of the head it is equal to 1 mm it is typically screw gauge the pitch of the screw is equal to distance moved by the pitch divided by number of rotations by head scale the least count of a screw gauge the distance moved by the tip of the screw for a rotation of one divisions on the head scale is called the least count of the screw gauge the least count of the instrument that means the lc the lc is equal to value of one smallest pitch scale reading divided by total number of head scale divisions so the least count is this one number of head scale divisions 100 divisions are there so that's why 1 divided by 100 that means is equal to 0.01 mm or as well as 0.001 cm and zero error of the screw guards when the movable stud of the screw and the opposite fixed stud on the frame area brought into contact if the zero of the head scale coincides with the pitch scale axis there is no zero error 
Suppose the positive error, zero error. When the movable stud of the screw and the opposite fixed stud on the frame are brought into contact, if the zero of the head scale lies below the pitch scale axis, that means below the pitch scale axis, if you have shown in the figure, the pitch scale axis coincides with the five. So the zero error is positive. Here, the fifth divisions of the head scale coincides with the pitch scale axis. Then the zero error is positive. And zero error is equal to plus number of divisions into least count. Where n is, that, that means n is the number of divisions and the L C that means the least count. The head of the coincides. So in this case, zero error. So how many divisions are there? It coincides with the five divisions. So that means five into least count. So five into zero point zero one. So is equal to zero point zero five millimeter. So the error correction is minus. So the positive error. So that's why if it is corrected, if you put a minus sign, so that's why minus zero point zero five. 0.05 millimeter and then negative zero error when the plane surface of the screw and the opposite plane stud on the frame are brought into contact if the zero of the head scale is lies above the pitch scale axis the zero error is negative here the 50 95th divisions coincides with the pitch scale axis then the zero error is negative so zero error is equal to minus 100 that means 100 minus n yeah, number of divisions into l yeah, least count so zero error is equal to minus 100 minus the uh, which divisions are coincide 95 so n means n is equal to 95 so 100 minus 95 into least count so the value is minus 5 into least count 0 0.01 so equal to minus 0 0.05 millimeter zero corrections is equal to positive so plus 0 0.05 millimeter and the next one is some correct reading how to how to write the correct reading so correct reading is equal to total reading plus or minus zero corrections the total reading it means the total reading is equal to pitch scale reading plus head scale coincides coincidence into list counts so psr it means pitch scale reading and then head scale head scale and then list count and Z C that means zero corrections. So these are the formulas, correct reading formulas. Total the zero corrections that means the total reading, the scale reading into head scale into least count. That means next one is plus or minus zero corrections. Next topic measuring mass. We commonly use the term weight, which is actually the mass. The many things are measured in terms of mass. In the commercial world, the SI unit of mass is kilogram. In any case, the unit are based on the items purchased. For example, we buy a gold in gram or milligram, medicines in milligram, provisions in gram and kilogram, and express cargo in tons. We can use the same instrument for the measuring the above listed items. The different measuring devices have to be used for items of smaller and larger masses. In this section, we will study about some of the instruments used for measuring mass. Common balance, that means a beam balance. A beam balance compares the simple mass with a standard reference mass. The standard reference masses are 5 gram, 10 gram, 20 gram, 50 gram, as well as 100, 200, 500, 1 kg, 2 kg, up to 5 kgs. This balance can measure mass accurately up to 5 kgs. And the next one, physical balance. This balance is used in labs and is similar to the beam balance. But it is a lot of more sensitive and can measure mass of the object corrected to a milligram. The standard reference masses used in this physical balance are 10 milligram, 20 milligram, 50 milligram, 100 milligram, 200 milligram, 
500 milligram or 1 gram 2 gram 5 gram 10 20 50 100 and uh, up to 200 grams and next one digital balance nowadays for accurate measurements digital balance are used which measure mass accurately even up to a few milligrams the least value being 10 milligram this electrical device is easy to handle and commonly used in jewelry shops and labs it, it is also a portable one it can use it to move the portables it can handle with the portable so easy to use in this plate and next one is a spring balance this balance help us to find the weight of an object it consists of a spring fixed at one end and a hook attached to a rod at the other end it works by a hook's law which states that the additions of weight produce a proportional increases in the length of the spring a pointer is attached to the rod which slides over a graduated scale on the right the spring ex extends according to the weight attached to the hook and the pointer read the weight of the object on the scale and next one just given examples for measuring the mass measuring the weight and then instruments for measuring the mass the instruments for measuring the weight this means the experiment spring balance compression spring balance and weighing scale these are using in a weight that means a newton that means weight if you calculate the weight the instruments below the instruments the measuring the mass that means the kg beam balance electronic balance these are using the to calculate the masses Thank you students.